The Alchemy Synth here in GarageBand is only available on the iPhone 6, the iPad Air 2, or the iPad Mini 4. So why is it showing up here on my iPhone 5S? Well, in this video, I'm going to let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, if you, like me, use GarageBand, you probably realize that the Alchemy Synth, one of the very cool features, is only available on some of the higher-end iPhones and iPads. But one of my viewers recently clued me into a little hack that can get you some of the Alchemy Synth instruments here on your iPhone 5S and the iPad Air 1. So I had to give it a go and find out what was going on, why this is the case, and if this is the case, why don't Apple allow Alchemy on these? We'll talk about that a little more at the end, but now let's jump in and show you how we can get this little taste of Alchemy Synth on our iPad Air 1 or our iPhone 5S. Now, before we jump in right up the front here, I want to make it super, super clear that this hack does not allow you to use the Alchemy Synth on your older device. What it does is it lets you access for one particular instrument so that you can see how it works. And it does show that it does work on these devices. So I wanted to make sure that was clear because you can't use this and you can't change instruments, you can't record instruments, and you can't use the Alchemy Synth on any unsupported devices. But clearly, it's there under the hood, which is what we're about to take a look at now. Here we are in GarageBand on my iPad Air 1. Now, I've also tested this on the iPhone 5S, but I don't have any other earlier devices or any iPad minis to test it on. So if you have a device that doesn't run Alchemy and you want to test this out, let me know how it goes. Drop a comment down and let me know which device you tried it on and whether it worked or not. But what is it and what are we trying? All right, let's tap on the audio recorder just to start up our track here. Now, when this opens up, we're going to tap the track view in the top left corner here, and we've now got a nice blank track ready to go. So let's cut to the chase and let you know what we're doing here. There are several loops in GarageBand here that use the Alchemy Synth. Now, as you may be aware, the Alchemy Synth is only available on your iPad Air 2 and above and your iPhone 6 and above and the iPad Mini 4. So we're running an iPad Air 1. We shouldn't and we don't have access to the Alchemy Synth normally. But what we can do is let's tap on the loops option here. And I've already tested this out. But if you search for the word choppy, and hit search, one of the loops here is this bent choppy synth chords. Now you do need the edges and angles pack. So if you don't know how to download from the sound library, go to the sound library and download that. Now there's a link up the top there to a video where I show you how to do that. So assuming you have the edges and angles pack, we can grab this and drag it across and throw it here. Now this is using a MIDI loop. So this is connected to a virtual instrument. And if we tap on the instrument icon on the top here, what it's gonna do is gonna take us into the instrument that's being used. And here it is, it's the classic Super Saw, which is an instrument that's part of our Alchemy Synth. And we can play it here on our iPad Air 1. And the same as goes for the iPhone 5S when I tested this. So why is this weird? Well, the Alchemy Synth isn't available. So as the user, and I apologize, I can't find the comment. So please drop a comment and let me know who you were because you deserve credit for, for working this out or for, for finding this hack. But what we can do here is we've now got access to this particular Alchemy instrument. And what you can do is you can use all of the different features we have. So if we're playing our instrument here... We can use our grid there, we can slide across here, we can go to all of our different settings here, just like we do on any other device. So the Alchemy Synth is available here, so it's sitting there under the hood. The problem is that Apple haven't enabled it. So this is the thing I was talking about before, I wasn't sure why, they, they haven't really given a reason as to why it's only available on those higher end devices. I'm assuming it's because the power and the performance that we have on the iPad Air 1, the iPhone 5S, is not enough to sustain good performance using this. That's all I can really think of. And when they sort of started putting out these new packs, they didn't really think through that some of the loops would actually be to instruments using Alchemy. Now, you might be thinking, cool, can I now jump in and access all the other Alchemy instruments? Unfortunately not. If we tap on this one here, to go into our instrument selection, we still don't have the Alchemy Synth here. So we can just go in and select any of our others. But as soon as we change it to a different one, we go back into our default synth layout. So this is just our regular synth instruments that we have here as part of the regular garage band. And then we can't get back to Alchemy. But it's a pretty cool little tip if you want to get a taste for the Alchemy Synth, but you don't have one of those newer devices, then this could be a cool way to just test it out. So let's 
let's just go back and we'll show you that again. We'll just use a different sample. And there, there are other loops in here apparently that do the same thing. But if we come in here, let's just grab this second one now and line it up there. Tap on our instrument icon here and jump in. There we are, we're back in the alchemy synth and we can start playing around with all the different functions here using our cool grid. We can slide across here, we can change all of these. We can use our XY pads to change. So again, if you don't, if you've never tried alchemy synth and you wanna have a little taste of it and decide whether you do want to pay for a better iPad or iPhone or upgrade your iPad or iPhone, this might be a cool way to do it. Now, the question you may have here is what happens if we do record something and we do have this loop in here and then we go out and back in? Well, yeah, it kind of has a little bit of a, a little bit of a panic attack here. So we'll go to my songs. So we've closed out of that song. So it's down here is my song five. When we reopen it, this is the option that we get here. We get this message, some uh, song uses unsupported features. So just like if we created a song on a newer iPad or iPhone and then tried to open it on an older version, we get this same thing. Let's go continue and jump in. And now what it's done is it's created a copy, but it's removed those things. And if we go in here and we go to the instrument, it's just defaulted back to the Electron Echo, so just a random synth instrument that it has chosen that we should use instead. So that's a little bit frustrating. So yes, uh, it, you can't really use this. It's not really gonna be useful, but it is, uh, again, it's a cool little way to get a little taste for what the Alchemy Synth is all about. And frustratingly, it does point to the fact that the Alchemy Synth does indeed work, but again, Apple have cut it off and have stopped the access to this for probably performance reasons or who knows what else. Anyway, that is a cool little way to get a taste of the Alchemy Synth here on your iPad Air or your iPhone 5S. Hey, thanks for sticking around. There are two more videos linked down below if you're looking for more information about producing music on the iPad or the iPhone. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon to keep up to date with all the latest videos and head over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.